Hey everybody, Captain Jack here, and this is episode 9 of Let's Build a Nuclear Reactor. In the last episode, we set up the nuclear reactor, and we flipped it on, um, only to flip it right back off again because we did not have any coolant. In this episode, we are going to be kind of putting the shell on this factory since it is almost done. And the next episode is the one that um, will be really cool because I cheated and I know how this factory works once it's gone through an entire cycle. And uh, um, the outcome was a lot better than I thought. So next episode should be really cool. We'll be able to see this thing go through a full cycle. Um, it won't be two hours long. Um, but what I will do is we're going to turn it on right now. Um, we are going to let it go through an entire cycle. And then in the next episode, we'll see what happens when all these quad uranium cells deplete and we start a fresh cycle. And we'll also see how much UU matter this thing creates. And it's more than I thought, that's for sure. Um, I have reset the cycle of the breeder. That's going to continue loading up our MFSU here. It's gotten decent, decent ways. Um, let's see. These are all off. Um, that thumping sound, the heartbeat sound you won't hear in this episode because I will turn the uh, the game volume off. Alright, so we have the reactor on. It's producing uh, 4360 EU per tick. Um, there have been comments about the deep storage unit. Um, there have been comments about this level emitter right here, which I may or may not fix. Really, this never needs to be shut off. So um, it's not really a necessity at this point. But what happens when you turn this lever on and off to turn the recyclers on and off is that the level emitter will remember its last signal, even though it's disconnected from the main network, and it will always stay on. If I sink below the amount of cobblestone needed and the dark cable is cutting this system off, it's going to stay off. That's the only downside. Um, but that can be, that's an easy adjustment, but one that I really don't need to make. Um, maybe when you get the world downloaded, you can do it yourself. Okay, so the reactor's on 4,360 EU per tick. Um, maybe in this episode, maybe in the next episode, we'll be addressing this second um, HV transformer. And uh, we'll go from there. But right now, let's get, let's get going here. I'm not entirely sure how I really want this thing to look in the end. Um, I do have kind of a rough idea. I never really know until I start placing blocks. So we'll kind of just see how this thing comes out. Um, I do want to continue this design with the lamps, so we'll keep going with this around the outside. Do -do. If you don't like watching aesthetics or watching me place blocks for half an hour, this may not be the episode for you, but in any case, you might miss something crucial. If I decide to do it halfway through here, so let's go across. There's not really too much more that I can add to this factory. Um, I do have a couple things planned that should be cool. And maybe in the next episode, I will announce what I will be doing next. Because um, from my own studies on this design, I will be producing a lot of excess power. And that power will be usable in other places. And I could even transfer the power back into this setup here so we'll see what happens next there's a couple things that I've been thinking about doing one of them I scratched off the list because I'm pretty sure it's impossible um, let's see here change these I'm gonna go around the outside edge this do, do, do. we'll do the towers and everything in this episode I'll try to go as quickly as I can um, while I'm doing this don't forget to comment if you have anything that you would like to see um, maybe you can even submit an idea for my next project um, one of the things I thought would be really cool was to make 
a micro block factory, but the more I thought about it, the more impossible it seemed. What I wanted to have the factory do was I wanted to be able to input a block and select the cut I wanted of the block, almost like a cut of meat. Hit a button, send it through the system, have it automatically cut it and spit it out for me. I think that would be really awesome. Not sure how I can do that with multiple blocks without basically coding a molecular assembly chamber with every single type of block imaginable. Um, I thought about doing it with red power and I would kind of have to do the same thing with red power. It would have to be uh, preloaded into automatic crafting tables Mark II. Um, so if anyone has maybe a way to get around that, I, I wanted to have it maybe like a system of level emitters to dump in uh, dump in whatever block into an import bus that I sent through the signal or sent through the system with a signal. I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's actually possible without physically crafting every single recipe. So maybe that's some something somebody can research for me. If you do come up with a way to do it, I do think that would be an awesome project. Because um, cutting micro blocks can be a pain in the butt, but on the other hand, you do get a lot of micro blocks from every cut. So that is a benefit of it. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some glass here. Reinforce glass. Uh, no, I'll just leave it like that. Get some natural lighting. For now, I'll put glass here. A lot of times they end up changing what I do, like a hundred times. So, if I do decide to go with something different after I put the whole shell on it, maybe a different um, color scheme here or there, like that, you know. I might just do that off camera, but if I get the main shell on, then that would be good, I think. Let's do this. This one, something's wrong with my mini map here. Mini map. This is saying that. Uh, I want to stretch it east, but I don't think that's going to work. No, see? Let me do... Nope. i got to fix my mini-map. There we go. Ah, oh, it was one off. That's a good guess. Okay. Yeah, if anyone knows how to fix that minimap. See how my minimap doesn't show? Actually, that stupid Minecrafters thing is going to be um, right above it. But my minimap doesn't show the proper direction. I may be a noob because I can't figure that out. But I thought there was a way to fix it. I'm not going to try right now. It's really hampering my ability to use uh, a little pickaxe. Um, this is going to change. Um, I think what I'm going to put up here is a remote power core that, so I can send all this power that this thing generates to the far corners of the earth. Um, let's do these towers. B because these are so small, it's hard to give them a lot of a lot of life. I think do that. It's hard to give them a lot of life. So there's not too much detail I can go into with these. This might be one of those things that I decide to change later on. But for now, I'm just going to go with something pretty simple. No, I'm not going to use World Edit for this. Sorry. Let's go around. Let's do that for now. There we go. Oops. Okay. 
Use that as a base. These actually don't need some. I could just go straight around. There's no need to hide this. All right, Ooh, that's hard to see. Something's not right. Something's not right. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's fine. Just go up the sides with this. I was thinking about scaffolding, a um, little bit of scaffolding. Not sure. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do paver here. Add a little bit of contrast, kind of break the code. Building code. I'm gonna break one of these. I'm gonna break one of those extruders. If there gets to be too much white and cyan, it's gonna look like the festival of lights here. So we'll go with something simple, like I said before. And if I decide to change it later on, we will do that. I have no idea when I started this episode, but we will see how long it goes. Okay. Let's do this. Um, while I'm doing this right now, I might as well mention all the stuff that I usually mention at the end. Which I'll probably forget that I already mentioned it and mentioned it again, but whatever. We do have a website. It's a minecrafters.com. Uh, we added a new chat channel on there that you can uh, just log in, create a nickname, and you can chat with us if we happen to be online. A bunch of people have used it already. It's uh, actually an idea that was birthed out of the last live stream we did on Twitch TV and we try to live stream every uh, week usually it's Thursday sometimes we get to it sometimes we don't but you can check us out there we're the Minecrafters and on Twitch TV and oh I knew I'd break one it mostly turns out to be total rampant chaos and uh, Fish usually breaks everything, but that's okay. Uh, what else? Uh, Facebook. You can like us on Facebook. That would be awesome. A lot of chats go on there. Um, there's a place where you can submit your screenshots of stuff that you've made. You can talk to us on Facebook. We do get notifications on our cellular phones. So... We will see those fairly quickly, and sometimes that's an easier way to reply to people instead of on YouTube. So bear that in mind. And, uh, yeah, let's see here. Maybe I'll finish the other two off camera. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. I do want to kind of integrate these into the main structure. We'll see how that works out. See how that works out. I'm just going to kind of close these up. Didn't really do that last time. But I'm doing it this time. This is not... What in the blazes did I just do? I didn't even put a top on that one. It's not going to get a top either. Alright. Let's take care of this. So yeah, so now you know about all of our... All of the happenings of the Minecrafters. We do have some cool... Ideas, or we think they're cool. Coming up. Possibly a Minecrafters server, possibly a Minecrafters mod pack. What? 
again. We will see. We will see. Okay. Let's bring these all together. Just want to get this done. Get this done. Okay. You'll notice I'm being a little bit less picky than normal. But that's okay. You won't see him again. Blip. And we got one more to do. One more to do. Oh, I really got to remember to turn off the in-game audio. So you guys don't hear those recyclers. They actually sound really cool. They're just going so fast that they make a thumping sound. Enough to drive some insane. Oh, there's not so much. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot the outside edges of those. That's okay. Okay. That's that. Whoa, what am I doing? What's going on here? Okay. And put pavers here. Glass. Not glass. Lamps, inverted lamps. Keep this place nice and lit up. Okay, and a couple more, and this will be done. Now that reactor is still going over there, and basically I'm just looking to run it down and also to see how much UU matter it's going to create for us. Oh, what is going on? Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. Um, I do want to kind of, let me see kind of wire these things in to in the top. We'll do that for now. Just kind of want to connect what in the Almost had a mild heart attack there. Okay. It's wired in. Wired in. There we go. Kind of connect it. The hungry, hungry hippo. Bring it all full circle. Okay. Looks kind of cool at night, actually. All right, there we go. There's that hungry, hungry hippo. Still kind of looks the same. Um, not quite sure how the power core is going to be. But let's say... Not sure what I just did. But... We will be right back. All right, so uh, I'm back, and I figured out what happened. Um, I did back up my world. Yay. Um, wouldn't want to lose this series, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm going to explain to you real quickly why that exploded and why it's going to be safe for you no matter what. Um, basically, what I forgot to do was set this export bus to export scrap into the system 
and so the mass fabricator stopped and it was using too much UU matter um, too quickly to produce lapis to cool the reactor. So the reactor just um, lacked the cooling necessary. Um, just so you can see it right now, this is how fast it's making UU matter. Um, I could get it pumping a lot faster than this, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. So, we'll see. I don't even, I'm recording this part a day later, so I'm really confused, and that whole thing just threw me off. But, um, I did add a little entrance on here. Um, most of the shell is on this factory. I do want to do some other things up here. Um, actually, let's let's get some glass. We'll do glass. Let's get some iron cover strips. We'll just make a little kind of access point here. Put that there. A little bit of a walk around so I can check out oh, what's going on inside the reactor if I didn't have flying turned on. Our creative mode. Let's go out here. I actually think um, I can make this reactor put out double the UU matter than what I originally estimated and researched. And that is what I found between video so maybe the blowing up was a good thing um, I'm gonna put this all the way around here actually you know what what if we put a little bit bigger one with these not make the ramp so thin oh. this could be a pain sometimes let's do that this is cool all right, this video can only last about another 10 minutes, so I'll do what I can in 10 minutes. Um, if I'm repeating myself, I am really sorry. I don't know what I've already said. I mean, I kind of know what I've already said. Um, but, 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 this is it. Maybe before I put out the next episode, somebody can tell me how to extract power from this reactor. I know I want to put the core up there, but I want to design a core so that I can distribute this power throughout the land. And I want to be able to do that with minimal power loss and yet still look somewhat decent. So, maybe if you want to submit a screenshot of a little core or just leave a comment so I don't have to open and look at your screenshots. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I will do that. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. All right, this is kind of cool here. Got a little walkway, a little bit thin. I'm not sure uh, if I want to spruce this up and make it like connect somehow. So you can do this while I'm here. There we go. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Gives us the walkway feel. Um, let's get those cover strips back. There we go. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. All right, it's cool. All right, we got a little walkway. You can check out what's going on inside the reactor, and uh, anything else that we want to check out. So we can look. Here we go. Everything's running smoothly, going according to plan. Filled with that, I did have to restart the stinking reactors again. So 36 UU matter already. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. Um, 
but we're only about five minutes in. Um, so if you're good at math, you can figure out what's going to happen with this setup. Um, I will... Oh, I don't know if I said this or not. The scrap doesn't keep up. Oh, I'll go over it in the next episode after I rewatch this stupid thing. Um, I do want to do something in the floor here. Um, actually, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to be able to see... Yeah. There we go. I like, I like. That should actually cut off in a second after those relays dump out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Go one less. There we go. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll add some little viewing area. Maybe I should do this. There we go. You can kind of see the guts going on down there. Um, let's put some lamps to light this place up. There we go. And I'm not sure if I want more. More or less than that. Maybe, 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 maybe gravy. Maybe gravy. Oops. Oh, I'm on a roll here. Oop. I'll fix that. Fix that, laddie. Okay, so got a little thing. That's a little bit bright. Holy mother. Okay, no big deal. Oh, I also... Let's do this, too. Um, I want to connect these towers so I can kind of peek in there and the corners right here so if I get rid of this there you go that's the corner let's blow these out I thought I stalled again or something everything's still intact um, let's get some brick maybe do this and some marble There we go. That'll kind of open up these towers to make them accessible. Not that I need to, but just because I want. And we'll do that. And maybe... See, that's open to the sky. So, but a boo, but a boo. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Just close it off like this. There we go. That's okay. Ah, I don't really like. how that goes. Okay, I do like that a little bit better. A um, little bit of a problem here. We can do that. All well and good. Okay. Blow this out. Okay. I'll put... Sometimes I forget what I do. I'll forget what I do. Do that. Um, we'll go straight up with it. And avoid the lighting mess. We'll fix these to go with. Oh, did I put? What did I put over here? Yeah, I did brick. That's right. Change that back to paper. And something is slightly off. There we go, and I will knock these down. What else did I do? Oh, nothing. Um, let me put put a block there. There we go. Alright, so that's not bad. These are connected now to the main room. Um, this is connected here. I'm going to open this up, I think. 
Let's see. I'm gonna just I just wanna make this this is a little bit congested. It's a little bit of a looks like too small of a walkway here, so let's do this. Let's bring this straight out. Like that. Okay. Um Now how do we connect these in? And do I want it just one space? Let's do that. Do this. Open this up even further. Give it a little bit more of a less congested feel. And we'll drop we'll drop uh this like this. Here we go. Bring, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I did do that, huh? Okay. Not a big deal. There we go. A little bit more open. I like this, I like this, I like this. All right. Actually, let me bring. I'm gonna set this back a little bit. Just one. That's good. Then I'll add stairs there. Um, we'll connect that on top of there. That with there. That with there. Close this off. Um, so I always get a different idea for the op opposite side. It's terrible. That's only one wide. There we go. Okay, we'll do that. Close this. Cut that down a bit. Um, I'm going to bring these out to here, and then we'll put glass. Actually, we're going to need some light, so I'm going to light this up. Light it up. Fire me up. All right. All right, so that's a little bit different, a um, little bit more of an open feel to it. And then let me take some of these guys here, and I'll make this actually walkable to some degree. Like this, like this. They don't supply it, the stairs in the game. You got to make it our own. Gotta remember to turn that game volume off again. All right, these just look like this because they're not lit enough um, with natural lighting or artificial lighting. Okay, so we got our main chamber here. The nuke is fired up. We're making UU matter. We have kind of got a shell on this baby, which is good. Fairly satisfied with it so far. Um, actually, you know what? I wonder if I can. Let me just do this. Bring. Kind of break up the monotony a little bit. Maybe I can go a little bit thicker on this actually. Just do one for now. See how it looks. We'll go down here. Yep, put one there. That might end up changing. I'm not sure. Let's go down the front with this. Down the front. Okay. 
No, I think that looks kind of good. We'll see if we'll see if I keep that. I'm not sure if I like how this roof doesn't blend in, or it's harder to see there. But uh, all right, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, I've already mentioned all the other crap. Um, so next episode, we're gonna get to see this thing in action. We're gonna get to see it complete a full cycle, start fresh. And we'll see how much UU matter this beast will make. And then we're also going to start considering um, the power core up top here and a way to transfer extra power, which um, this is going to make a lot of extra power. If if you look at this, I'll just I'll just point at it. So maybe you can it'll get your oops it'll get your imagination flowing. Um, if you design a reactor yourself, you'll see that um, as it is right now, there's a huge flaw. Um, Maybe you can tell me what it is. Maybe, oh, this I did in the other episode. Whoops, or the first part. Um, so yeah, maybe you can point out the flaw in it right now, as is, and uh, we'll harness the power of this beast, and then we'll start filtering this power out throughout the land, and we'll power something else, okay? So thanks for watching this, guys, and uh, stay poised. <laughs>